If your Windows Server has been slowing down and you don't know why, you're definitely going to want to check out this Tech Support Tuesday video here now. Today we're going to go ahead and jump on a server that has been running slow and determine what was causing the issue. So here we are logged into the server and I'm going to pull up the task manager here. And if you notice under the performance tab, there is nothing listed here for the drives. So we're going to go ahead and add that feature first. And how we will do that is we will open up a command prompt. I'm using Windows X and then the letter A. And now I'll go ahead and type in disk perf tack Y. Then we'll hit enter. And now it is enabled. So I'll pull back up the task manager with control shift escape and click on performance. Then we can go ahead and look at the disk utilization. Now let's go ahead and click on File Explorer, right click on the C drive, come on over to Tools, and then click on Check. Now the reason why we're doing the check disk here is so that we want to make sure that the disk is fine, uh, where you don't have anything that's corrupted that it needs to repair. And if you don't already have a backup, then if it does come back with errors, you definitely want to backup your data ASAP. Cool. So the drive is fine. So now we'll go ahead and close that and come on over to optimize. Click on analyze. It needs to be optimized. Now this drive has 33% fragmentation on it. So when we defrag it, it might take a while, but it should also increase the performance of the machine quite a bit as well. Hit optimize. And if we pull back up the task manager, you will now see the disk utilization, the active time here is going to remain close to or at 100% the majority of the time when it is defragging the drive. Now earlier when we looked at the drive, there was pretty much uh, nothing going on with it, which pointed us in the direction of maybe it might be fragmentation or something corrupted on the drive that could be causing the slow disk access resulting in the poor performance of the server. Now, if the server was already at 100% disk utilization, you would have to go ahead and use the resource manager to be able to determine what application is hogging the resources of the drives or if it might be another issue, such as a failing drive, which on say, for example, a Dell server, uh, you would have the iDRAC controller that you could log into to take a look at the health of the array or with a HP, it would be integrated lights out and other manufacturers have other solutions similar as well. Typically, you're going to have some kind of lights on the front of the chassis that might indicate that there is a physical failure or issue with a piece of hardware. Now this might take a while to go ahead and complete, but once it's done, then you wanna go ahead and see what the performance is of the system afterwards. And if it still has issues, then again, start taking a look at uh, hardware or other items that might be robbing your system of its resources. Now, if you learned something in this video, please go ahead and slap that like button. If you haven't already, share it out on social media and consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one.